What's up guys, this is Ty, the Asian Wonder, your online personal trainer again. In this video, I want to talk about how to select the right exercises because there's thousands of exercises out there in the market. I want to make sure that you understand the process of how to select a good exercise. And this is something I struggled with for many years as a trainer. Matter of fact, you know, I'm not that bright of a trainer, so it took me actually several years, meaning like seven or eight years before I finally whittled down the exercises that are good and it's worth doing and the exercise is just complete garbage and there's just some exercise out there that is just complete bullshit and the people that come up with it should be put in prison because of that okay so here we go guys this is I'm gonna give you three questions to ask yourself and I'm gonna explain each question to you and if you answer these three questions you should be able to come up with the good exercises for your uh, exercise routine and all the exercises that I list on my website they all fit under these three criteria and if they don't fit these criteria I don't have it on my website because it's probably just a bullshit exercise I don't like to waste my time or my clients time and definitely not your time so here we go so here's the first question guys does the exercise allow you to lift the most weight for that muscle very simple very simple question right so here's an example let's say that I'm doing chest right here and there's all kinds of chest exercise that I can do I can do the uh, butterfly dumbbell butterflies uh, on the flat bench I can do the dumbbell um, uh, presses on the flat bench I can do the barbell presses on the flat bench I can do the cable crossovers for the chest exercises there's a bunch of them I mean you can do push-ups close grip wide grip all these different hand positions for your push-ups right but answer this question when you think about all these exercises does the exercise allow you to lift the most weight for that muscle and if you compare something like the cable crossovers to a barbell bench press then it's obvious that the barbell bench press allows you to lift more weight with that muscle group versus the cable uh, crossovers right and this is very important guys because the way the muscles grow right you have to activate all the fibers in your muscles right and they all have to fire at once and they all have to lift the maximum amount of weight that they can possibly lift or very close to it right I meaning it has to do a lot of work it has to work completely otherwise there's no reason at all for the muscles to grow for example you have 10 muscle fibers in your chest now keep in mind there's millions of them in there but I'm just saying that there's 10 muscle fibers in there and you only do an exercise that only activates two of these fibers and the other eight are just laying there then what happens is that there's no reason for your muscles to grow there's, there's no reason for you to get stronger there's no reason for the chest muscles to grow any bigger okay or to get any harder or to get more endurance or anything whatsoever why because there's still eight more that's to go right and until you exhaust all of these fibers right and make them all work at one time there's no reason for the muscle to grow any more muscle and I've proven this over and over with hundreds of different people out in the field already so this is not something new to me right but it's new to a lot of people in the gym and it's new to a lot of young trainers out there and they don't think about this think about this and the best way I can describe this is this alright if you take a 12 gauge shotgun and you shoot a deer with it right and you go hunting and you shoot a deer with a 12 gauge shotgun does, is it, if the deer is dead, right, is it necessary for you to take a little 22 pistol and go over there and shoot it a few more times to make sure that the deer is dead? I don't think so. You already killed the deer with the 12 gauge shotgun. I mean, normally you would use a hunting rifle, but I'm just exaggerating a little bit. But if you killed it with the 12 gauge shotgun, there's really no reason for you to come back with a little pistol and shoot it, right? And it's the same thing. If, if I work out and I normally, for my chest workouts, I'll do like 225 pounds for 10 times if I do that for 10 times already what what good is doing you know some cable crossovers with 30 pounds gonna do for your chest it's not gonna do anything and I proved this on the field I've done it where I had experimental groups where I would have a bunch of guys do nothing but cable crossovers for months on end for like three to six months at a time and then I had guys that do nothing a group of guys over here that I had nothing remember I did a lot of massive testing when I was doing the volunteer work uh, training the prisoners so I would have a group of prisoners over here and they would do nothing but cable crossovers right for six months and then I would have another group over here do nothing but a uh, uh, barbell flat bench and it was hands down it was obvious there was not one guy that was doing the cable crossovers that developed more muscle in their chest or got stronger or had more endurance than the guys that did all the barbell and that was all they did just the barbell uh, uh, bench and that was nothing else to it right so keep this in mind guys that ask yourself and the answers are very simple guys you don't even have to go do the exercise you can just look at it and tell which one is the right exercise so for example right if you if I can do uh, barbell curls with a hundred pounds total right and I do that and I come over here and I do some uh, some uh, preacher curls 
for example, right? How much weight am I doing, right? Well, obviously it's an isolated exercise. So I'm gonna do less weight, right? But there, there's, uh, there's, between the two, the one that's gonna be better is the one that you can do the more weight with on the bicep, right? Now, that doesn't mean that the preacher curl is bad because it's still relatively close to what the actual barbell exercise is. So for example, if I do a barbell curls, bicep curls like this, with 100 pounds total on the bar, and I go over to the preacher curl, and I grab a single arm dumbbell and do just one arm dumbbell curls with it, and I do it with a, with a 40 pound dumbbell, right? Then the total of 40 pounds on this arm and this arm will equal about 80 pounds. So that's not that far away from the 100 pound curls that I was doing before. The problem is whenever you start going to do exercises where the weight drops significantly, then that tells you that something is wrong. For example, in the, in the bench press that I used earlier, right, I had a group of guys that would do nothing but the bench press, right, and they would do it with like 315 pounds, and they would hit it for reps of five reps, and then I come over here and I had guys doing the same thing, and they were capable of benching 315 pounds, but I had them doing flies on the cable crossovers with only like 40 or 50 pounds. Notice the 315 pounds over here that these guys are repping for five times versus these guys over here repping out 40 pounds, right? 40 on each arm, that's about 80 pounds, 90 pounds max on, on the, the, the cable crossovers versus 315 pounds over here. There's a huge difference, guys, when you're doing 315 pounds for the bench press and doing 90 pounds for the cable crossovers. That's why you don't see cable crossovers on my list of chest exercises on my site because I don't believe that that's the best exercise. Matter of fact, it's one of the most dangerous exercises you can do for your shoulder joint and for your rotator cuff. And I'll explain that in a future video. But for now, just think about it, guys. If it's not the best exercise where you lift the most weight for that muscle group, then it's probably not the best exercise that I would do or I would recommend to my clients to do. And I've trained lots of clients, guys, that are just stupid strong and stupid big, okay? So I don't think that I'm speaking out of, you know, nonsense. I'm actually speaking from actual experience here. The number two question I ask, guys, when I'm trying to select an exercise is I ask myself, is it safe? Is the exercise safe for me? Is it safe for my clients? Is it safe for an elementary school student? Is it safe for a middle school, high school, college, professional athlete? If the answer is no to any of those, then I normally don't do it. Why? Because if it's safe, if it's not safe for a high school kid, right, a teenager to use that exercise, then it's probably not safe for anybody. Because uh, if it's not that safe to where the young body of a teenager cannot do it safely and correctly, then I don't want to use it on a professional athlete or anybody. Now, there's some people that say, well, you know, the NFL players or the Olympic athletes are using this exercise, right? Well, keep in mind, folks, that those people are the, are the best of the best of the best athletes we have in the world. And if your body is not built like those guys, right, just because you see them do those exercises doesn't mean it's safe for you. I would rather go the opposite end instead of looking at what the professionals do and seeing if it's safe for them and it's safe for the regular people like us. I would rather look at to see, hey, is this exercise is safe for everybody around me, okay? If, if I choose an exercise, let's, I you always use chest as an example, guys, but let's just say that I use a flat bench exercise. Is that safe for me? Is it safe for my clients? Is it safe for the athletes that I train? Would it be safe for my little brother and sister or even my 60-year-old parents to do, right? And the answer to that is it's very safe. I mean, it's, it's really hard to go wrong on a barbell uh, bench press as long as you use the, the, the right amount of weight. And even if the 45-pound the bar is too heavy, right, I can always go down to a 20-pound bar or maybe even do some light push-ups, right, and still say, However, for example, like earlier when I said about like the cable crossovers, that's not safe, it's not easy to do, not everyone can do it correctly, and 95 to 98% of the people that I've seen at the gym do cable crossovers, they do completely wrong, and it's not even correct, and that's the reason why they don't have big chest and a big bench press like they should be for the amount of time that they've been training, okay? So ask yourself guys, the second question is, is this safe? Is it safe? And especially if you're a trainer, always ask yourself, is this safe? Would this be safe for a high school kid, a college kid, or just a 60, 70 year old person before you do it, right? And the chances are most of the exercises out there, folks, it's not safe for everybody to do. And if it's not safe for everybody to do, then the chances are I probably don't want to do it myself. And, and I've, I've hurt every joint in my human body, guys, multiple times. So I can very adamantly say when an exercise is safe for the human body or not. 
And like I said again, during my testing research years, right, I heard a lot of people, guys, to make sure that the exercise was safe and to tell, right? And there's just some exercises that are just so safe that I just rather do those. And if you look on the list of all the exercises I have on my website, you'll notice that all the exercises I have there, they're so safe that even if you do it wrong and you plan on being stupid and doing it wrong, it still doesn't hurt you. And that's the reason why I have them there. I'm not going to have some exercise that you guys are going to take and go home and do it and hurt yourself, okay? So that's question number two is, is it safe? The third question I want you guys to ask yourself, right, when you're looking at it is to select the right exercises, does it have room to grow? Does the exercise have room to grow? And by that, what I mean by that is that does the exercise, is it expandable? Like let's say that you get stronger and you get more athletic and you get more endurance. Does it have room for you to grow? For example, right, back to the chest exercise again. If I use the barbell flat bench to train for my chest, right, as I get stronger, when I first started, I couldn't even bench the bar. So when I started, I was able to bench the bar. I went up to 70 pounds, 80 pounds, 90 pounds, 100 pounds. And nowadays, I bench over 300 pounds, right? But it always has room for me to grow. There's no limitations on what I can do with it. For example, right, if I can get strong enough to bench 350, 340, you know, 360, 70 pounds, there's always room for me to grow and it's never dangerous for me to do the exercise. As long as I stick with the same way that I did it at 200, 300, it'll grow, right? Now there's certain exercises where there's no room to grow. For example, like the cable crossovers, right, which I think is the dumbest exercise ever. And if you're listening to this and you don't agree with me, I'm, I'm sorry, but I've tested this on thousands of prisoners already. And, and you can't tell me otherwise. It, there's no results in it, right? So, for example, right, if I use the cable crossovers, for example, and I'm doing uh, uh, 225 pounds on my flat bench for 10 times and I come over and do the cable crossovers. And to do it adequately and to do it correctly, I can probably do it with about 40 or 50 pounds. No more than that, because if I add more weight than that, then my form will not be correctly and I will not be using my chest. I'll be using more my back and my thighs to do the exercise instead of isolating my chest. And so if that's the case, that I cannot go over more than 50 pounds in each cable, in each arm, right? The total of that will only be 100 pounds. So there's really no room to grow. As long as I stay around 190 pounds like I am right now, there's really not much room for me to grow beyond that. I can't pull no more than that because if I try to, the way that it's positioned, the way the exercises, it'll pull my body upright and I won't be able to do it com correctly and isolate my chest correctly to do it. And that's the reason why I, I talk about it a lot because it's a very popular exercise at the gym and I think it's, the, it's, to me, in my opinion, I think it's a very retarded exercise, okay? So here it is, guys. Does it have room to grow? And the answer is no, it doesn't. It doesn't have room to grow. And I guarantee you, I've trained several guys in my life that have benched over four or 500 pounds, and none of those guys ever had to do uh, cable crossovers or flies or any of those exercises. Why? Because if a guy is benching, uh, like for example, I've had two Samoan guys, I've had the privilege of training two Samoan gangbangers, where I've had the privilege of training them to bench over 500 pounds, and there's not even enough weight on the stack for those guys to do cable crossovers with. Each of these guys weigh 240, 250 pounds, and the average stack at the average gym only has like 100 pounds worth of uh, weights on there. And even if these guys wanted to, they couldn't do it because there's not enough weight on there, right? So exercise like that, I would recommend that you guys stay away from because not only is it dangerous, it's one of the most dangerous exercises out there, but there's no room to grow. When you get stronger, there's no room to grow. If, especially if you're playing like Division 1A college football, you're a linebacker, you're a lineman, or you're in the NFL, that exercise is not going to cut it, guys, especially when you're benching like 350 pounds and up. None of those exercises is going to work for you because they're not scalable. They won't grow. As you get stronger and more athletic and more endurance, those exercises won't grow with you. And you always want to select an exercise, right, that as you grow stronger and as you grow bigger and more powerful with your body, you want to have room to where it can grow with you, right? So just keep that in mind, guys, as uh, you guys go through these, ask yourself these three questions. Does the exercise allow you to lift the most weight that, that, uh, for that muscle group? Is it safe for you? And the easiest question is, if you had your teenage brother or sister do it, would you let them do it? Is it safe enough for them to do? And if the answer is yes, then ask yourself, would I let my grandparents do it? Is it safe for them? And if the answer is yes, then go ahead and do it. But if it's no for any one of those, for the young people and for the older people, then I would not recommend you do it, right? 
The other thing is the last one is does it have enough room to grow? Make sure that your exercise that you select are scalable and that as you grow with uh, the, the exercise, that the exercise can grow with you so that you, you, you don't give up. You don't train for several years to learn how to do an exercise correctly and throw it out the window because it doesn't have room for you to grow with it no more and it won't allow you to, to, to use that exercise no more. Okay? So thanks for watching this video guys and uh, if you have any questions please let me know and if you're curious about all the exercises I have on my exercise list right here, all the exercises that I have on my website guys fit this criteria here and this is the criteria that I use to select all the exercises on my website right here. You won't find any exercise on there that won't answer yes to, to, to these three questions, okay? So again, thanks for watching this video, guys. And uh, if you like it, please leave a comment below. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you don't like it, you can leave a comment too. And also, if you find that one of your friends liked this video, please share with them, put it on their Facebook, and um, I'll see you next time.